Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm doing a seven on a Sunday talking about trilogies. So this is a thing that I found out about because of Kat over at Breeze and Reviews who has done this video several times. Also special shout out to Paige from Pages and Paige who lives out that magical world on the other side of the world. So her video to me came out yesterday and reminded me it existed. So I'll leave both of their videos down below. But yes, this is a Goodreads group created by G Swizzle. I'll leave all the stuff down below and each Sunday you talk about seven stuffs and this Sunday stuffs is trilogies and to be honest I was a little bit it was a bit hard choosing because some of them I have like so much passion for and then it felt weird putting books that I would, like love until my dying breath in with other ones that yeah I enjoyed bit of a mix so I'm kind of starting from the bottom and then getting here but also not in necessarily really in order apart from the top ones so let's just get into it. First of all, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Now, if you saw my video a couple of months ago, I did a massive rant about the third book in this trilogy. Uh, I ranted about it for about 15 minutes, so you're probably thinking, Kaz, how is this in your, your seven trilogies video? Here's the thing. First book, absolutely fantastic, brilliant, amazing, wonderful. The little novella, we're gonna add it here even though it, it makes it four books instead of three. Really, really enjoyed. The second book, I thought was really good. Not as good as this one, but I gave it 4.5 stars, I believe. And then the third book, it was good to a point, and then it really pissed me off, but I still gave it 3.5 stars. So I feel like this series deserves to be on here because it's a really great concept, like so intricate and fun and, and just really nice to read. And especially the first one, absolutely brilliant book. So I can't not put it on just because I got a little bit annoyed at the second half of the third book, you know? Still deserves to be here. Next up, I have the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. In my hands is the first book, The Knife of Never Letting Go. And this is an interesting one. It's a middle grade. It's written in its own special way. It follows the main character, Todd, and he's not very good at speaking. He doesn't really know how to write properly because he's never been taught. So throughout this, like, several of the words are spelt wrong. They're spelt phonetically, and it just, like, gets you more in... The headspace it also it deals with being able to hear people's thoughts so all the way through this there's like bits of the thoughts just passing across the page and it's just really like here we go it's like this you see all the this is all the thoughts that he's hearing over the top of what's happening and it's just really immersive and it makes the reading experience really fun and different so yeah there we go that one. Oh, but also i did get a little bit annoyed at the first book because of reasons but apparently that's just a thing that happens for me. I get annoyed at something. But it is a really good series. But I did get a little bit annoyed at the repetitiveness of one thing happening over and over again in here. But it was fine. It was good. Next up, Magnus Chase by Rick Riordan. This is probably my second favourite Rick Riordan. Percy Jackson will always just be the pinnacle. It's the first Rick Riordan books I read. I read them as an adult. I don't have any, like connection to them as a child that I loved or whatever. I read them as an adult and I thought they were amazing and it got me into all the, all the Rick Riordan books. But I'm just a sucker for Norse mythology and Magnus Chase is Norse, so obviously love it. Really good, there's great characters in here. It's fun, I feel like the trilogy fit really well together and most of Rick Riordan's other books are not trilogies, they're like five books in the series, so I can't pick all the things. And then the Kane Chronicles I just really didn't like, but we don't like to talk about that one. Magnus Chase, great times. I can't even think of anything that particularly annoyed me about this, so that's always a bonus. Next up, another series that I have no sort of connection to because I didn't read them when they were popular. I read them not too many years ago. I read them after all of the films were out. And that is Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So this for me was worth the hype. I just think it was an absolutely incredible series. I'm glad I finally read it. I'm glad I didn't have any spoilers because all the films are out. I didn't actually know what happened or the main plot points, which is something that doesn't happen very often when the films are out and people are talking about it everywhere. So I'm glad I went into this with fresh eyes and not really knowing what's gonna happen. And it was brilliant. The first book was amazing. The second and third book I really enjoyed as well. I know some people have a problem with the third, I think they don't like it as much maybe. But I really enjoyed the series. There's only one thing that annoyed me and that was the romance. I just didn't think it was necessary. But we just pretend that that doesn't exist. Pretend the, the last bit at the end of the book three just didn't exist because that was the only bit that was annoying. And we're left with a really, really great series. So yes, Hunger Games. We're about halfway through, as halfway through as you can get with the seven. So let's go over to a message from our sponsors and then I shall be back with the others. 
which is a lot more calm. It's a lot more monotone, and it also shows that he has a little bit more out of control tendencies behind the motive and not really his in the moment behavior. I think a lot of the times when you get into Hi, duos that are killers together, it can give very knockoff Bonnie and Clyde vibes and it just doesn't really work well. It falls into a lot of cliches and it just seems flat and boring. Next up I have the Einbreakers series by Zaya Feli. Now technically I do enjoy the um, duology, Teeth and Claws more, but obviously this is a video about trilogies, so I'll put this one in here. This was my first foray into Zayafale, not gonna lie, the cover just drew me in. Let me just give you that full, the full experience here. I got it on my Kindle for free because the cover was really pretty, and then I've, I bought all three books, and I've carried on reading all of the books, so obviously that's a good sign. This is like a fantasy thing there's a slow burn romance going throughout like nothing really happens till the third book and i like that that's the thing that i enjoy i don't like insta romance insta love give me all the angst and the maybe and the growing to like each other we love that so yeah i don't really have much to say about this series just that most people probably haven't heard of it so if you like stuff that's good maybe read this one it's about a prince and the king and his brother, the other prince, get murdered and he's implicated even though it wasn't him. And then it's all about him trying to clear his name with this other dude that's a slave dude and then they don't like each other and then, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly they do like each other and it's good. And then the last two series on here are I Will Die On This Hill series for me. And this is why it was hard to put any other series on this, on this list because these two are just like the pinnacle of me. The first of them being Half Bad series by Sally Green. This is incredible, I love it. <laughs> and also, I've said for several other books, stuff that annoyed me. The first book, I almost didn't carry on the series because a little bit is written in second person and I freaking hate second person writing. And then, it turns out it's one of my favourite series ever, so it's always good to give stuff a chance, I guess. But I love this so much, this series. I've only reread it once, but I cried more on the second re on the reread because I knew it was going to happen, and I love it, and it's painful, and everything hurts in the best possible way. It's about a dude that's half black witch, half white witch, and because black witches are seen as evil, and his dad is, you know, maybe he's the most evil black witch in the world. He's uh, tired with that brush, and people are horrible to him, and like everything's bad, and. I'm here for that sort of thing, apparently. But it's just really good series, so yeah. I love it. And then, of course, anybody that's been here for any second knows that this is my number one. And that is All For The Game series by Nora Sakovic. This is just, like, everything. It's about... It's just... It's even... What is it about? It's about a sports team, but also a crime under lords and crazy stuff happening and everyone's morally grey and loads of bad stuff happens but it's also great and also slow burn throughout and exy and i'm literally wearing my top right now just randomly without even thinking about that yeah i love this series so much and when i reread it like i instantly wanted to reread it again but then i didn't because that'd be silly i've got loads of books that i own but i just love it and it's just trash really <laughs> but also it's amazing and brilliant and also it's a self-published author and i love how popular the series is like you go on goodreads and there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of reviews on there and ratings and i just love that for nora Sakovic because this series has like a cult following and it's self-published and people need to read more self-published books side note iron breakers trilogy is also self-published the one i talked about earlier just so you know. But yeah, obviously this is number one. Obviously. Those are my seven trilogies on a Sunday. You should probably say something down below if you want, don't have to. But if you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of my others and subscribe, perhaps. I'm not even doing my proper outro because my battery's already died twice. So yeah, see you, bye, all that jazz. Thanks for coming. Could have just done my normal outro look. Still going on. Bye.